Oh. What the? Just unequipped things. Uh, wait, no. Sorry. Anything oh. we should try to upgrade? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you should go buy the cool things from, uh, from Pegleg. Right, right. Anything you need? I guess I'll be, uh, I'll be done with this see. very shortly. I'm not in the mood for chat. Let's see, upgrade the... Do I upgrade my Magnum? Upgrade my shotgun. Shotgun's kind of my go-to for this one. I guess the scrapper provides more fire resistance, but it's not much. The twisted mask I've got on. effects and increases fire resistance by 30% and it lasts 10 minutes. Which one? The hydro coolant. Oh. It lasts 10 minutes for fire resistance by 30%. That's pretty good. That's definitely what we need. So, yeah, definitely bring the coolant. I need to make Take sure care, it's equipped. Friend. Yeah, I, I have equipped it. I like the consumables. Y'all are amazing. So glad I get to drop by for a bit. Yeah, thank you. Also, you, Snake. Uh, you said you liked uh, Outward. You probably like this game. But yeah, you should keep Heartseeker on. Well, no. Heartseeker wouldn't be that useful for you right now, actually. Wait, really? Uh, oh, oh, no, I have the Mother's Ring and the Pillar of Stone. Okay. Because people Cause the were saying of stone will help with my sway, and the mother's ring will help with incoming damage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need the the heart seeker. Or are you referring to? No, people are saying the heart seeker is good. No, I'm kind of agreeing. Or the but hunter's also... mark. Is that and then Mender's aura? It's fine. I'm good to go. Oh, because if the but no, that's. If the creature isn't antagonistic towards me, oh, I don't know. Yeah. In any case, we should put the coolant on us as soon as we get into combat. Uh, we can use it right before. We can use it right before? Yeah. In fact, I think... I, I'm not entirely sure, but we might be able to just, like, guzzle several things. I don't think it's going to increase it by 30%, 30%, 30%. No, no, but you might be able to roll multiple of these. So, like, Frenzy Dust, probably not the most useful. Uh, Hydro Coolant lasts for 10 minutes. Uh, I've got another thing There's called... There's also adrenaline, movement speed, and melee attacks. But for 30 seconds, 30 seconds, though. that's not much at all. Yeah, so I'm going to try uh, going for both Mudtooth's tonic. Oh, I don't have Mudtooth's Yeah, you don't have tonic. that yet, unfortunately. Okay. And the hydro coolant. Wait, I, I'm, I'm going to do, do that perfect. after I've gone through the gate. Uh, no, it just lasts. All right, perfect. Yeah, hopefully we find Mudtooth relatively soon. Either that or I could take you into my world for a bit so we can stock up on Mudtooth bits. Because Mudtooth sells two tonics. Three, I think, actually. Uh, they give you a 25% health boost, stamina boost, and I don't remember the last one. Uh, let's see. And that actually does make a massive difference. We, we should be able to just completely smash through things at this point. Okay, well, I'm going to take my tonic before we get into the boss battle. And it'll last 10 minutes, and I think it lasts through death, too. <sighs> Wait, this doesn't look right. Did my inventory change? Oh, I see, I have a different thing, never mind. It was because I changed the mark on it. Okay. Okay, so coolant. Now we're all chilly. Uh, let's go. Let's try this again. We... Wow, it starts with a fireball. I really wish the oil spills would, uh... Well, not much I can do to avoid that, but at least the fire damage is less. Wow. Ugh. Ow. Wow. Why are you getting so close to him? I didn't mean to. Oh, there's some more critters. Oh man, should not take a at the face. Wow. Hi, I am inside everything. Uh. 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 
just making sure that there aren't any other creatures on the field. Watch my back! So one thing oh. I'm noticing, staying really close to this guy prevents him from using fire as much. Checking the battlefield. Nope, no other scorchers yet. Oh, there. Oh. Oh, I wanted to get his chest, but he's always facing you. I suppose I should... There, oh, chest, oh. Missed it. Uh-oh, immolator. But that's before it was on fire. That sucked a bit. What's he doing? Oh, there's okay, another so emulator? I've, so I've marked him and every enemy nearby. Oh gosh. I need to get out of here. Yeah, it's fine. You do not need to focus on the dragon at all. I have got his number. Oh, I... Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm downed. I was trying to activate my move, but... Yeah, I think you might want to have a secondary weapon that isn't the sniper rifle, by the way. Yeah, I shouldn't. Uh, are, have I just, you been using your sniper rifle? I just... Hang I on. can't because he's always facing you. There... Oh, watch out, fireball. Did I get you? Yeah, I you did. Alright, I'm good. Oh man, those two scorchers were after me, and then yeah, just 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 Crap. focus on the scorchers. Just totally ignore him. I haven't picked up any ammo in a while, which sucks. No. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just surprised me. That hunter's mark is business is nice. Do we have any ammo? Ah, uh, there's a bit here. Okay, I unfortunately I'm I'm not going to be useful for a bit. I am totally out of ammo. Means I need to run through the fire. Oh, that was close. What really? A guy spawned right on me. <laughs> oh man, I got hit. I'm sorry. Because <clears throat> I was running away to heal, but. Guy came right underneath me. I'm over here behind you. Uh, gonna try. Watch my back. Okay. What the? Uh. He blasted through. Okay, I'm out. Watch it. That ain't good. That ain't good. Okay. You gotta keep yourself alive for a little bit, but boss is almost dead. Okay. I just was hoping I could get a lot of sniping shots like I had the last time that were really effective, but hasn't been as effective this time. It's fine, time. he's done. Oh. Yeah, uh, I think for bosses like this, sniping, uh, you should oh, almost stay yeah. out of the sniper rifle, um, <laughs> until you know you're safe. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I noticed there, effectively, you'd be trying to, uh, line up for a shot on his chest, which does bo boatloads of damage, but you kept going down, and you do way more damage when you're alive and not hitting the weak point than hitting the weak point and then dead. Yeah, I just wish there weren't as many ads. <sighs> I'm torn on it. I wish there was one ad, or like he'd spawn waves of ads at fixed periods, as opposed to like always. Always. Mm. Okay, so we just got a new perk called Quick Hands. Ooh, reload speed bonus. That'll be nice. Thirty percent faster. You okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to find out where the stone went. What stone? The flaming heart. Oh, uh, inventory quest items. 
or oh, materials. It's a quest Sorry. item. Yeah, valuable resource harvested from Singe that can be used to put, forge a powerful weapon. It still beats a wa waft of scalding hot heat or scalding heat and rotten flesh with each pulsation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, dodging backwards is confusing. Anyway, you wanna come here? We got a new area to check out. Yeah, sure. I'm actually starting to get really hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hungry too. Let's keep going a little bit longer. Not okay. too much longer, just a little bit. I just really wanna find a new biome. Mm-hmm, rather than the rundown city. Cause I like, I like the overgrown city look, cause that's kind of cool. But like, we got a lot of that in Darksiders 3 and it looked better in that one. Also, we should hit up the checkpoint and go see what weapon that makes. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I think what we need to do is replace your repeater pistol with Slime something with vessels. a little, little bit more punch. Because uh, one thing I'm noticing with you is is you have to stand still long enough to hit something uh, with a sniper rifle, which isn't that bad. It also has a terrible reload speed. Yeah, and with the repeater pistol, it takes a lot of shots to kill something like uh, like the burn the emulators. Yeah, it um, does. And so if we can get you like a hand cannon uh, as a sidearm. Mm-hmm. Uh, or effectively my revolver, that might solve your problem. Because, yeah, I, I've got a shotgun, which is my, like, oh, shoot, I need to shoot something in the face. Uh, I just haven't found anything I like yet. Yeah, I'm surprised. We've got a lot of rings on yours, but very few weapons. Okay, so we want to talk to uh, her. You killed the dragon? Good. Now kill the rest of them. Right. Okay, right, Spitfire. Then. Oh, it's just a flamethrower. I mean, one hand, that's rad. Or is it? I've got work to do. I don't know what kind of weapon this is. Okay, it's a sidearm. What? Fully automatic yeah. weapon, which shoots fire-imbued bullets with medium accuracy and rate of fire. And it comes with a weapon mod, Flamethrower. Okay, Shell, you might like this. This might be a good gun. So you brought down here. that Okay. I can hardly believe it. You're made of sterner stuff. Ah, let's see what I've got. Flamethrower. Yeah, so I will admit... Uh, ooh, it's expensive to upgrade, though. Uh, it is like the SMG. So that you might not like it as much. Oh, really? Yeah. But the bullets... Oh, I mean, it's fine. The bullets burn. Uh, let's see. I got plenty of these things. Not a forged iron, though, but... It seems like it might have been worth it. Uh, let's see. Just trying to see. No, so he doesn't sell anything new. Anything you need? What do you need? But yeah, that'll do a damage over time effect, which might actually be just as worthwhile to you. Dude, yeah. You took down that huge beast in the city? Good on you, friend. You know, there's still a lot of deadwood out there, but that thing? That was a different level of hurt. Okay. Uh... Till next time. Armor. It's like I can't upgrade anything else. All right. We didn't get any special crystals to upgrade our heart, right? No, no simulcrums. So unless you have anything else to upgrade. I appreciate your hard work out there. That beast has <clears throat> been a thorn in our side for years. Hopefully we can make more supply runs now. Did you hear that? Yep. Yeah, I, I'm like downstairs, but I heard it. Mm-hmm. I wonder what the other people will say. Uh, I've already talked to pretty much everybody. Really? But, yeah. I didn't hear them. I didn't talk to this kid. Hi again. Nope. Yeah. I try not to think about them. Be careful out there. How about the bow guy at the front? Hey, 
No trouble in the ward, Reggie got it? sold me this thing called a watch. No idea what it's really for, but it helps me fall asleep. No, I, I, I honestly can't believe it. You took down the dragon? <laughs> I didn't think anybody could kill that monster. I'll see you around. Okay. They just react to hey, the no dragon. No trouble in the ward, got it? Makes me want to go talk with uh, the old man and Ace over on the other side. I haven't talked to Pegleg. I did talk to Ace. And she's like, good on you. Wait a mm. second before you talk to him. Mm hmm Though for the most part, they're just like, yeah, I... Oh, Traveler, you've done it. Ho, oh, ho, you slayed the dragon and lived to tell the tale. Never doubt your greatness, friend. Can, can this guy just be the only NPC? Because, like, everybody else is boring. <laughs> He's here. fun. <laughs> Good to see you. I'm going to guess... talk with the mother. Yeah, haven't talked to her yet. I don't want to spend too much time here because I got a buff. Driftwood. The dragon has fallen, child. The dragon is dead. But this you know. You were there. The stink of its death still clings to your skin. I am pleased that I did not break my bonds in vain. Now, how can this broken vessel be of aid? Ask. Uh, Very well. Looks like I don't have any more questions to ask her. I have lost much. And yeah, we can't upgrade the heart anymore. To fare at all is well, child. Okay, so let's let's get out there for a little bit longer, and then you can go bananas on lore. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I would gladly keep playing this for like another hour or two, but <laughs> it's just fun. It is. Like, it's challenging, but like, it took us two fights to kill the dragon. And like, it definitely got kind of messy there. Um, I s still felt like I was useless, though. Eh. I mean, part of it was I was playing like a moron and it was working out because I was just standing next to the dragon and alternating between dodging it and shooting it. And for some reason, I never got hit. <laughs> um, the dodge rolls are really generous in this game. Uh, so where are we now? Is this a new area? Yeah, this is a new zone. Unfortunately, it looks very similar, but if you notice, there's a giant ah, invisible whoa. tower. Ah. That appeared out of nowhere. I mean, it was technically there shimmering, but it was hard to spot, and I was about to say, like, yeah, there's a giant tower in front of us, and then that happened. I was like, well, I guess it made it announced its presence. Oh, this looks, looks cool. This nature. is what I've been demanding from this game since the start. When we started, I was just like, man, I like this, but... I hate the fact that it's, uh, every gunfire game game starts in, like, Rune City. But, uh, this? Uh, okay, there you are. I was like, I don't want to leave you behind. One minute, one minute. Look at those creatures sitting in the... Chairs, they don't look happy to exist. Faults uh in the infrastructure stem from the core. Cracks in the walls grow every day surrounding me. Hmm. Do you have a choice or it it's all like you? It's all me. Yep. Interesting. I can go, um, hello, or who are you? He's talking about cracks in the walls. Interesting. Who are you? Human. The core is rotten. The root corrupts everything. Why do you distract the key? Wait, he said that the core was rotten and we've been distracting the keeper? So I can say I'm looking for a man named Ford or I need to reach the tower on the atoll. Either or. Hmm. Because we could try to find Ford, but he might just be like, oh, that man is of little consequence. The tower on the atoll, he might just talk about the tower. What do you think? I'd say the tower. The tower is way more interesting than Ford. 
I need to reach the tower on the atoll, but the thing is, Ford is the key to get to the tower. Isn't that what the lady said? Eh. Hey, either or, we probably get both. Hmm. Insignificant. Chance of success negligible. The guardians are destroyed. The devourer lurks unchecked. The labyrinth erodes daily. And I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and see. Notice he has stones sticking out of his back, almost like... Yeah, and his legs and stuff. Yeah, it's almost as though instead of being afflicted with the root, he's afflicted with the stone. Yeah. <laughs> enter the what, where am I going? Or you didn't really go answer my question. <laughs> Enter what? Where am I going? The labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path you require exists, it lies within. I have some questions for you. Hmm. Yes, there is time. What did you mean the guardians were destroyed? The root threatens every world. So every world is given a protector. Guardians are not easily killed. When one dies, however, the root can claim that world and grow stronger. Mm. The loss of several guardians made way for the devourer. The devourer has made the root very strong indeed. Yeah, so the root is afflicting so many worlds. And wait, didn't the humans say that they intentionally killed a guardian? So uh, they let the root go to the fuzzy world. Oh. Huh. Or the dreamers were connected to the guardians. Did you remember that? Uh, vaguely, yeah. We can always go back and double check. Where is my world's guardian? Or should I ask, are you a guardian? Eh, either. Where is my world's guardian? Probably dead. This place is both like the worlds and unlike them. It is the core, inviolable, and without need of a guardian. Wait, Earth is special? It's uh, a core and doesn't have need of a guardian? That's dumb. What? If my world is invoilable, 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 how did the root get here? I have neither knowledge nor resources to devote to the question. <laughs> the root could not have come without invitation. Oh, so that's what the dreamers were. They were inviting them. Are you a guardian? I am the keeper. I will be the last to fall. Oh, they're the keeper. What is the devourer? An agent of the root. Whether witting or unwitting is unknown and irrelevant. The devourer was the one who erased even the labyrinth's guardian, leaving only myself to hold back on ending rock. Unfortunately, my battle cannot be won with time. The interesting thing is, haven't a number of the archer enemies had these cowls? Yeah. Very similar to his? Yeah, the cloth. The cloth, yeah. What is the labyrinth? It is the seat of the worlds, built upon the core, and all worlds are built upon it. The labyrinth contains all doors that ever were, are, or may be. Some are lost, some destroyed. But all are contained within. It looks like I can ask what is the labyrinth again. Nah, it's already used. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your help. You're well. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. The? That's confusing. Was there a cutscene? Did you click ahead? No. I didn't click ahead. Uh, I think there was supposed to be a proper cutscene there. Anyway, this what? is... What? This but is... why did we miss it? I don't know. I mean, it's not even out yet, Shell. There's probably bugs. This Aww. is rad as hell. So this is a stone world. Yeah, so this is probably the hub, actually. And this is where we go go to other worlds. Oh, and it's doing the cool thing where the path Keeper's opens Blessing. For you. Elemental Resistance. Ooh, that would have helped on the dragon boss fight. Nah, whatever. The Keeper's Blessing. I 
I always like the concept of a place with many doors leading to other realms. Then again, I suppose it reminds me of Mist, because there would be occasionally rooms with a bunch of books, and they were essentially portals. So I don't know which of these directions we want to go to, but this one seemed interesting. Okay. It looks like we've got purple, orange, and oh, this is that map that the one guy had marked out for us. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, this, oh, is, the, purple... this is the map of the labyrinth. Wait, there's purple, purple orange, uh, there's the purple teleporter, the orange teleporter, and like one other. Oh, wait, where, oh, on the, on the big board, you mean? Yeah, like way back at the beginning. So what were the colors again? Uh, oh, you're, well, you're, I just stepped on orange, so. You stepped on orange. I am, I am here. We'll go to orange. I mean, we're going to do all of them, so there's not really a whole lot of point uh, trying to decide which we want to do first. I mean, there kind of is, but like. Oh, I want to look at the statues on this. So, these guys, huh. They look like him, kind of. Well, they actually resemble the snipers. They have the weird metal masks going on. But yeah, let's look at this door. It looks like a stargate. Probably is. Oh, oh. wait, there's notes over here. What the hell is the Iskal? The queen of this world talks like it's some kind of love in. Wait, what? But her subjects sure as hell aren't showing me any peace or harmony. Interesting. Well, we can't go to that one anyway. Really? We need a keystone to get in. Oh, well then where do we acquire a keystone? Ow, I fell on my ass. I died. I'll help you, I, if I can. Oh no, I just died permanently. Go through that and we'll see what happens. Oh no. Yeah, so when I took that teleporter, it treated it like I just fell from that distance and it killed the shit out of me. And I... Yeah, no, you gotta go for the checkpoint. I have to revive it. Oh no, oops. I have to revive at stone. Yeah, so you gotta go to the store, stone to pick me back up. That's a dumb bug. Anyway, don't go to left. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Down this way. I have to remember where the rocks will grow. I think... Or materialize out of the air. I wish instead of coming out of the ether that there were rocks floating around already. Yeah. And then they went into position. Yep. All right, so go just sit at that. Sit at the stone. they will pick me up. All right. It brought you back? S yep. So it looks like the one to the right is busted or locked. So what? I guess let's head for purple. Wait, there was another one? I want to see what color it was. It it didn't have a color. Oh, yeah. It's it's unlit. Like I said, busted or locked. Wait, there's a front straightaway? What was over there? Nothing. Might be a little zigzaggy. Or no, we have to come up here before we go there. I'm really loving this. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, hey, look at that over there. Mm -hmm. It's a, well, a female bust. Oh. But just the bust. It's not even a, a proper bust. Uh, it looks almost angelic. Like okay, there are this wings. one looks like it has a... No. Do we need to find a keystone in our world before we can access Heck this? Heck if I know. There's a note here. Actually, several notes on these. Yesha. I'll this go back and check that one blank area. That maybe it's there. This is it. The same world I visited back in Ward 16. The pan were unwelcoming then. But that was partially our fault. I wonder if the pan will look like fawns. You know, with Could fawns be. and stuff? And I died randomly of fall damage again. <laughs> maybe it just happens to the... Um, the joining player. Yeah, probably. We had invaded their world without notice, avoided them, acted covertly. Their reaction was warranted, if excessive. I won't make that mistake this time. That was, Jesus, almost 30 years ago now? I wonder if Navoon is still alive. Wait, they left someone behind? I can't read any of the other... Oh, no, there's one more note on the right. To anyone reading this, stay away from the ziggurats. The Pan Empress has a strict no foreigners policy, and the nobles zealously enforce it. Even the commoners fear those they call Paxultek. I've made fr friends among the rebels, but even they are likely to greet strangers with suspicion. And if you did somehow gain their trust, 
you'd become the enemy of everything and everyone else in the jungle. Ooh, cool. So this is a jungle realm, and if there's creatures called the Pan, I can only assume that they're going to be fawns. Absolutely love fawn people. Nope, and we do not have a key. We'll need to find a key. But where would a key exist? I mean, there is that scent. Hey, I'm going to go there. And I'll have to bring back Wander again. I suppose. Actually, I'll see if there's any side branches. Probably not. So there are empresses in both of these realms? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, the Pan live in a jungle, and there are supposedly rebels that dislike the queen, but then... Nothing there, nothing there. Go back, go back. I'm Why just, are you going here? I'm just looking. There's nothing there. Okay. Let's see. And I'm back again. <laughs> You're checked out again. Yep. I okay. just want to investigate a little bit more since we're at the labyrinth. So we came from there. I guess that's the last one. Well, considering we can go nowhere else, this has to be it or we're missing something. We have to get a key in our inventory. Ooh, look at these ones. They have four arms. And this looks totally dead. This is dead. I... And there's no notes, either. I wonder if it bugged out. You know how that cutscene broke? Oh... Uh, maybe? We could leave and come back. But also, doesn't that thing hovering above look remarkably like the energies or the key? Yeah. Does anybody know? Has anybody been faster? Uh, like, has anybody been past this point? Oh wait, there's something down here. Yeah, you go that way, I'll go this way. There's an item, I think. Oh, it's a journal and some... some boots, some cans of food. Did someone get stuck here? Maybe. Rom. January of 1990. It's been a year. A year since Evelyn took it to her head to... dot dot dot. Rom is a desolated hellscape. But it shows a lot of promise. The people here fought the root and won. There is so much I can learn. Maybe even now to end the root for good. Oh, maybe how to end the root for good. Maybe how to help her. Wander, what are you typing? Asking if I missed the key. Keep going. Can you stop moving? I'm hearing crunching sounds everywhere. That's just the stairs moving. Can oh. you please? Yeah, yeah. While I read. Rom, March of 1993. This is my fourth trip here, I believe. The citadels are locked tight, guarded by the most terrifying beings I've ever seen in my travels. I've had to seek my information elsewhere from a people calling themselves the Akari. Back home, Nadine is... what? 20 now? 21? Ah, uh, You finally remember how old they are, and they go and change it again. In any case, she's becoming distant. She hasn't wanted to travel with me for months now. Yesterday, she asked why I keep searching. I told her the stakes, but she wants me home. Wants me to protect the ward. She doesn't understand that I am protecting the ward. I have to do this, and I have to do it alone. The root would wipe us out if they had any notion of what I was doing. Yesha, February of 1995. Yesha, it's beautiful here. Beautiful. At least, when nothing's trying to kill me. If it weren't so damn deadly, I could see myself settling down here someday. Are you still activating stones? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out which gate looks active. Oh, um, sorry. Please, please don't do that. The crunching sounds unbearable. Yesha, March of 1995. The pan had been far more welcoming than they were on my first visit. Some, anyway. Apparently, I've fallen in with the destitute and enslaved... There's a vast social rift between the Pan. 
and has been for centuries. But a change is brewing. The Pan are talking of rebellion. Navoon, in particular, has asked for my help. But what can I do? So Navoon must be their leader? The re rebel leader? Yeah. Yesha. April of 1995. Well, isn't that something? I don't know much about revolutions. But if I don't know much, the Pan know nothing. They have no experience in rebellion or emancipation at all. Never in their history have Pan turned against the Immortals and their Empress. But me? I'm American. Overthrowing oppressive oligarchies is what we do. I told them about our Revolutionary War. The Civil War. Even the Civil Rights Movement. Basic stuff, really. But they hung on every word and wanted more. What happened after the Boston Tea Party? How did the Underground Railroad road work? What is a protest? With every story I remembered, fire lit up in their eyes. I barely remember the first sentence of the Gettysburg Address, yet somehow, in this world, I've become a revolutionary firebrand. Now, is all, they, all, now all they need are some weapons and training. Rom, August of 1995, I died. This happened once before, back when the root first invaded, but I thought it was a fluke back then, something related to the claw bone. But no, this is real. I died, and now I'm walking around again as if nothing had happened. Watch out for those Idri, by the way. The ones with the red crystals instead of faces. Their beams can pierce solid rock. I, I won't make that mistake again. Could Evelyn have done this? It sounds crazy, but... Her sacrifice protected Ward 13 somehow. What if she did something to protect me as well? I could ask her, but... You see that? How there's like the dot dot dot? Yeah. It's because he knows that she's probably the the mother. No, no, I, I'd get no useful answers. Evelyn is gone. It's just the root now, and they only wish me harm. God, what if this is some kind of curse? What if they are haunting me with immortality? It doesn't matter. I can use it. The Root doesn't know what I'm up to. If they did, they'd never let me have this power. But this power is precisely why I must be the one to solve the puzzle. I alone can end the Root. Rom, September of 2001. Holy smokes. It took forever to decipher that what the Akari were trying to tell me, but I finally learned how they defeated the Root. The Undying King basically nuked their world. That explains the desolation. The mutants. But that can't be the only way to beat the Root, can it? I told Nadine about the Undying King's Scorched Earth resolution. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have. Now she thinks my quest is crazier than ever. She's worried I'll still start thinking nukes make more sense. Ridiculous. Where would I even get nukes? Rom, June of 2007. How old would this guy be at that point? If he was there in 1968 and was probably a young man then. Right? Yeah. Though maybe time works differently when you start world hopping? Eh, I don't know. I mean, technically our parents were born in the 50s. So that means the guy would be not even 70 at that point. Right? Yeah? Don't know. Jesus, don't shoot those beehive mutants in the head. Makes the bees and the mutants angry. Better to take out the body first. Well, I think these will be useful tips later. The the lasers coming out of the crystals, the uh beehives. Rom, January of 2011. I'm a grandfather. I still can't believe it. I have a granddaughter. Ellen Ford. I wish it could be a joyous occasion, but Ellen's birth renewed my old argument with Nadine. She wants me back in the ward again. I get it. I do. I'd like nothing more than to live with my daughter and granddaughter in peace. But how would it help to fight a losing war on Earth? No. I have to figure out the root secret. To kill them at the source. I admit... I don't know how to do that yet, but I've learned so much in these past years. The Root's a hive consciousness, for example. That's something, yeah? I mean, 
there might be a central mine to destroy, if I can find it. Ah, don't matter. I can sit around Ward 13 guiding scavengers and hoarders. It won't help anyone. Nadine and her husband are great at leading them. It's an important job I'm no longer qualified for. This is what I must do. Geisha, March of 2013. The Navoon is one hell of a leader. Oh, that Navoon. Okay, so maybe Navoon is his name. Over the last 20 years, she's riled up a serious percentage of the commoner and slave populations the nobility's taken notice. Okay, Navoon's a lady. I helped, of course. I've been running guns and training soldiers about a, a year on my trips here. I think I'm a wanted criminal now, but that's nothing new. These days, monsters are trying to kill me no matter where I go. Rom. April of 2024? Question mark? Lately, I think I've been coming to Rom to escape. Can you imagine that? An irradiated hellscape is more friendly to me than my ward and my family. It's Ellen now. She was so sweet when she was little, but she's getting sulky. She's picked up Nadine's disappointment in me. Maybe I should stay in the ward more, get to know her better. But I'm so close, I can feel this. There is a way to stop the root. One that doesn't require nuking the earth, and I will find it. If I don't, who will? Corsus. This is a new planet, because we've had Yesha and Rom, right? Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, oh I know. It I'm... sounds like there's going to be a lot of places to check out. I'm just wondering, are we going to be able to talk on friendly terms with Navroon? I, and I stuff, bet that... and actually ally ourselves with the pan and stuff. It might be interesting. And will we be able to talk to the undying king on the world that he nuked? We're going to talk to Rome. some at least. I want to. I like, I, I love games with aliens, and when you actually get to interact with them, I hate it how so many of them are, you're a human and you're being invaded and you kill all the aliens. It's like, no, I want to find good ones. Um, I want to team up with them against a greater evil. And the root seems like a good good common enemy, especially to all these worlds. But it makes me wonder who connected them all with the labyrinth in the first place. Probably some ancient progenitor race. In any case, Corsus, August of 2025. I don't recognize this one. I'm trying to remember every dreamer project Datla had. Geisha, Rom, Gabriel, and Kasa. Clementine's freezer, that dark world Harsgard and Itsaso had bet on. None of them looked like this. Either we've never connected a dreamer to this world before, or there were projects I was unaware of. Either way, it's a risk going in here. Maybe that's why I've put it off so long. But I'm running out of options. It's a risk I have to take. I'm loving this so much, it reminds me so much of Mist. Because in Mist, you had the ages, and they were, the linking books were portals to these worlds, and each of them was so very different, and it all depended on how they were written, how they were created, but... Uh, it, I, I like the sounds of it, because it sounds like there's quite a variety here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to visit all of these. Maybe, at the very least, Yesha and Rom, because be... one of them definitely, one of the portals had a the Empress and the Rebellion going on. Yeah, it would be really neat also, this seems like the kind of game that would, would absolutely deserve, like, just a couple of DLC releases. It's like, yeah, we just added, like, a new added tile a new set world. and world and, like, some lore and stuff. Oh, I'd love it if they just kept adding worlds. And because I wouldn't mind it if they had mini campaigns for each world that they kept adding on to. Either way, it's a risk going in here. And maybe that's why I put it off for so long. But I'm running out of options. It's a risk I have to take. Horses, September of 2025. The natives seem low on both education and technology. But there's something else going on here. I found evidence of infrastructure, villages, agriculture. They used to have progress, but all of it is abandoned now. What happened? Horses, March of 2026. I don't know. Sometimes I think there's something sinister about this world. Maybe the root or something sim some similar species took over somehow. And another time, uh, and other times I think it's just a damn swamp and I'm wasting my time. I should be looking for this keeper I've heard about. 
Or maybe I'm missing Nadine and Ellen. How long has it been now? Two years? I've never been away at that at one time for so long. I should go back soon. I just gotta follow a couple more leads in the swamp. Maybe even try to learn more about the Keeper. And then I'll head back. Hell, I'll stay at the ward for a few weeks this time to make up for it. Corsus, August of 2026. Finally, I found someone in this damned swamp who will talk to me like a person. Unfortunately, all she does is espouse the virtues of her world. I know better than most of the, of what a bucket of horse manure all this is. And she calls herself a queen. All she talks about is oneness and enlightenment. But she won't tell me a damn thing about what the Iskal is, let alone any kind of history of her people. The past is gone, she always says. All that matters is the Iskal. I think my earlier suspicions were right. Something is fishy here. Horses, January of 2027. Five months. Five months investigating and talking to that damn queen. I might as well be slamming my head against a wall for all the good it's doing. She won't talk about... Oh, let me see. Let me see. I just scrolled down accidentally and it missed something. She won't talk about anything but Iskal. Iskal, Iskal, Iskal. I have no interest in her cult. Not even to get more information. I've seen less sinister propaganda in Moscow. I'm getting nowhere. It's been almost three years now since I've been back to the ward. The swamp's a bust, and finding the keeper can wait. I need to go home. Nadine's gonna give me hell, but at this point, it's hell I'll gladly take. I'll stay a good month in the ward this time. Whatever they might think of me, it'll be good to see my daughter and granddaughter again. Yesha, November of 2029. I guess this is it. Done with Earth. Done with the root and the mother. Done with all of it. I'll leave this here in case anyone wonders what happened to me. I'm off to find Navoon and do what I can do with the time I've got left. I can think of worse ways to live out my days. And that's it. Yeah, you freedom. <laughs> freedom. I want to go see another world. Like, the lore is nice, but I want to see another world. Well, we'll need to find a key to accomplish that, won't well, we? Well, if you press M, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you can see that there's a teleporter south of us. Oh. Well, that's the orange one, isn't Wait. it? Wait, oh, duh. Hmm? Wait, hold up. How do we get over there? That's the purple one. I've been, o we've been over there before. Yeah, but that's the active one, I think. We were over there. No, that's a different... This is the is purple it? one. Hmm. Remember? I'm going to try this again and probably die. Because <laughs> it looks like this one should be active. Nope. Nope, uh, it needs a key. But this is the one with the crazy queen. Yeah, Yesha. Hmm. Oh, the active portal is above the bed. I thought that was the one we took in, though. Maybe. Maybe well, he Well, there's just an sent active portal. Here. Wait, hold up. There's an active portal right up there. Where? Oh, this one right there. Yeah, is that the one above the bed? Or uh, near the notebook? Okay. Yeah, let's go up there then. I'm gonna walk. Oh, we could have we could have continued around. We didn't try that. Oh, that's the dead one. Yeah, Sweet. maybe it is the one near the notebook. Yeah, we, I don't know, think we've been up there. Did we just I don't arrive? Know. I'm not at sure if we center? can though. I don't see a staircase that leads there. But remember, the staircases create themselves. We could well, just need to walk it one way or another. Let's see, what gun is this? Uh, this is a, it's a fire SMG. It's one of the boss weapons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, okay, so this is, this is new. This is ROM, so this is the irradiated world. 
A dangerous wasteland of a world. Nearly everything within has tried to kill me at one point or another. The most dangerous are the servants of the so-called Undying King. But this world presents intriguing data on fighting the root. The root invaded, yet the world survived. I will return again and again until I learn more. The relationships between the people of Rom are complex and obtuse. The Akari are religious scholars. The Veer spend most of their time quelling Akari rebellions and enslaving the Buri. Yet only the Akari fight back. Why? The Buri seem to have accepted their role in society. And even glory in it. I don't understand, but then so much of this world remains a mystery to me. Are you ready? You got both notes? Yep, I got both notes. And none of the lower ones? Alright. So where's Shell finding wait, wait, these wait, stories? On route? notes. Oh wait, what was this Oh one? no! Oh, we'll get it on the way out. I don't know if that was a third note or if... Yeah, yeah I think it was. Oh no. I mean, we can always go back. It's not the end of the world. 